Today we're talking here in Chama, New Mexico. It's in northern New Mexico, and most elk hunters will identify with the name of Chama. It's been famous. It's Unit 4. It's got a long reputation of wonderful hunting and great bull elk. I've always had ambition and a dream of owning a ranch in the West. And being a lifelong hunter, I obviously wanted the ranch to contain some wildlife. The Timbers itself is only 400 acres. There's some great hunting here on the property, but we lease multiple other ranches. And the terrain varies from high mountain, over 10,000 foot aspen groves, to 6,500 foot of rolling hills of pinon and juniper cover. You ready? Yeah, 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 let's go. Most of our terrain, even though the variation in altitude is mild, it's relatively gentle rolling hills. So even at 10,000 feet, we're at the top. We're not doing strenuous climbing. There's no replacing the thin air at the altitudes that we hunt. But uh, I refer to most of our hunting property as kind of a gentleman's hunt. It's pretty easy to get around. Ready? One, two, three. We're one of the few places in the country that when we harvest an elk, we can harvest it whole. Each one of these ranches is home to resident herds that are growing each year. And then as the season progresses, we actually have more elk to hunt because elk from the higher elevations and in southern Colorado, they all come down into our country. We need to pull off these elk. They'll be right here in the morning. Totally agree. Totally agree. I'm a very low impact style of hunter. We don't believe in chasing our elk. What we have tried to do is say, we got to hunt smarter. So by not over harvesting, by selective harvesting, we see our elk herd growing each and every year. Some people expect to hunt 12 hours a day. We don't do that because we don't need to because of our private property. And then if you add to it our style of hunting, it's actually detrimental. We can overhunt elk. Good job, he's hit. So the Timbers of Chama I think is a very unique place. And I think it's one that should be on anybody's short list who's considering a Rocky Mountain elk hunt. Privately owned by my wife and family. Uh, we run it, we're day-to-day -day operators. We have great Southern hospitality, wonderful lodging, good food and we have fabulous hunting, and I think the combination of all these attributes makes for a wonderful choice. <laughs> Good deal, good job. You, buddy. Oh, you're welcome. It's really amazing.